Okay, let's unpack this. Today, we're digging into Lyme disease. Mm -hmm. You know, the infection you can get from tick bites. Our focus today, really, is why catching it early is just so critical. Absolutely crucial. And we're looking at this through a local lens, thinking about places like Fleet, using a guide from the experts at Blood Test UK. Yeah, their guide really highlights this. The big idea seems to be act fast. Speed is your best friend here. It really is, and understanding what Lyme actually is helps. It's a bacterial infection, right? From the Borrelia bacteria. Spread by those tiny ticks, the Ixodes resinus ones we have here in the UK. Exactly those. And the tricky part is the first signs can feel like, well, nothing much. A bit like a cold or flu. Uh-huh. Fever, headache. Yeah, fever, headache, feeling really tired. Standard stuff, you know. So easy to ignore. Very easy. But the one sign that everyone, especially if you're in Fleet or walking in Hampshire's parks and woods, needs to know is the rash. The erythema migrans rash. That uh, bullseye thing. That's the one. It's a really important early warning. But like the Blood Test UK guide points out, lots of people miss it or don't get it at all. And that delays everything, doesn't it? T treatment gets pushed back. Precisely. Which is why understanding that local risk in areas with lots of green space is just indispensable. Okay, so here's where it gets really interesting. Mm. The benefits of catching it early. You said it's like a superpower. Well, yeah, in a way. Because early detection means doctors can start antibiotics like doxycycline straight away. And the sooner you start those. The lower your risk of the really nasty stuff later on. We're talking serious joint pain, neurological problems, even heart issues. It stops the bacteria from uh, digging in deeper. So how do they actually test for it? The Blood Test UK guide mentions it's not always simple. No, it's often a two-step process, which they detail quite well. First, usually, is an ELISA test. Very sensitive, designed to pick up potential cases. Okay, like a screening tool. Exactly. If that comes back positive, or sometimes even borderline, they'll often follow up with what's called a Western blot test. And that one's more specific. Much more specific. It looks for antibodies against several different proteins of the Lyme bacteria. It helps confirm the diagnosis and um, avoid false positives. This two-tier approach gives doctors more confidence. Right. And Blood Test UK points out that this quick, accurate testing isn't just about feeling better sooner. It prevents long-term chronic problems. Definitely. It stops the infection progressing to those later stages, which can be honestly debilitating and much harder to treat. There's a cost angle too, isn't there? The guide touches on that. Oh, absolutely. Treating early stage Lyme with a course of antibiotics is, relatively speaking, inexpensive. Compared to? Compared to managing chronic Lyme disease, which can involve long-term treatments, specialist visits, managing pain, neurological symptoms, the costs can skyrocket. We're yeah. talking to potentially 10 times more, maybe even higher, depending on the complications. Wow, so early testing saves pain, suffering, and money. It's a huge benefit all around for the patient and the healthcare system. Okay, so let's get practical for people listening, maybe someone in fleet. What should they do if they have symptoms or just think they might've been bitten? First port of call is usually your local GP. They understand the risks and the testing protocols. There are also private labs, like those Blood Test UK works with, that offer the tests directly. And what if you get tested, but it's negative, and you still feel unwell? That's a really important point the experts make. Don't just stop there if the symptoms continue. Why? Can the test be wrong? It's not necessarily wrong, but it takes time for your body to build up enough antibodies for the test to detect them. An early test, maybe too soon after the bite, might show up negative even if you are infected. So retesting might be needed. Yes, the device is clear. If symptoms persist or you have strong reason to suspect Lyme, go back to your doctor. Discuss retesting after a few weeks. Persistence is key. And on a community level, more testing helps everyone. It does. According to the guide, increased local testing and awareness, like what Blood Test UK promotes, helps educate the public, leads to earlier diagnoses across the board, and ultimately reduces the burden of chronic Lyme in the community. It's a win-win. So what does this all mean? Wrapping it up. If you're in fleet or similar areas with woods and parks, you've got to be aware, right? Mm -hmm. Especially after being outdoors. Vigilance is key. And prevention. First, the guide stresses simple things like long sleeves, checking for ticks, maybe using repellent with DET. Absolutely. Avoiding the bite is always the best strategy. But it makes you think, doesn't it? If <laughs> one tiny tick bite can potentially lead to years of illness and huge costs, 
maybe we should pay more attention to those little things, those small signs our bodies give us. It's a fair point. Being tuned into your health is never a bad idea. The lesson seems pretty clear from Blood Test UK and everything we've discussed. Know your local risk, recognize the signs if you can, and remember that acting fast, getting tested early, is your absolute best defense against Lyme disease.